Hello everyone, my name is Taylor and welcome to Red Dog Redesign. Today I'm going to be sharing this flip that I did on this little sideboard. This is one of a few pieces that my parents gave me for free because they are moving out of a rental and into a new house. So I was really excited to kind of give this piece some new life. It's in pretty good shape, and I don't mind the color of it. I, I love a good classic black furniture piece, but I just wanted to kind of brighten this one up a little bit. So I started by taking this guy outside. It was kind of a struggle. Not that this piece was, like, heavy at all. I promise I'm not that out of shape, but... It was really awkward to carry through my long and narrow apartment by myself, but I survived. I just started by taking the hardware off. I wasn't planning to keep this hardware for this piece, um, just because it was just kind of this boring wood hardware that matched the sideboard itself, so I definitely wanted to update it with some new hardware. I'm just cleaning off the piece with some soap and water and these rags that I got from Lowe's. And I just made sure to get into all like all of the little crevices on this piece. There were quite a few, so didn't want that interfering with my paint at all. So I just made sure to wipe it off really thoroughly. And I made sure to clean the inside. I took that drawer out just so I could check it out and check for any damage, which later on you will see there was a little bit of damage on the drawer. And I'm just going back in and wiping the piece off again with some clean water just to get off any of that soap residue. So as you can see in the back of the drawer here, there were a couple of cracks and a little bit of chipping. I did end up fixing that off camera. I just used some wood glue and some clamps to fix that and it ended up working pretty well. So now I'm just sanding off the piece with some 220 grit sandpaper just to give it a good scuff sanding and to smooth everything out before I put my paint on. And then I'm just wiping all the dust away after I sand. I ended up using a little bit of this Minwax wood filler just to fill in some of the gouges that were in the top of the dresser just to make sure that it was a smooth uniform surface. Once the wood filler dried I just went back in and sanded it down smooth. All right, so the paint I'm using today is this bare paint and primer that I got from Home Depot. And I got this color from Benjamin Moore called Backwoods, which is this really nice olive green color. So I just lined a paint tray with some aluminum foil and I'm going to be rolling my paint on, um, at least on the flat surfaces, so the top and the sides. I completely failed at filming the painting of the top. Um, I apologize if this makes you dizzy at all. I cut out quite a bit of it just because I didn't want it to be so excruciating. Um, so yeah, I, I've already gotten better at this um, in subsequent videos that I have filmed. Um, so I apologize for how I filmed this. <laughs> but I just rolled the paint on the top and it went on really well for this first coat. And then I'm just taking a new brush. Um, it's just like a two and a half inch angled brush. And I'm using that to get into 
all of the little crevices and hard to reach spots on this piece. And then I'm just using the roller again on these flat sides. I did obviously have to end up going in to get those little crevices again with the brush, but I like the finish of a roller so far the most. I'm still really new to painting furniture, honestly. Like I, this journey just started for me, so I'm still kind of learning what techniques and tools I like to use, but I really like using a roller when I can, so I like how it worked out on the, the flat surfaces of this piece. And loving how the green color is looking. Even on this first coat, I got pretty good coverage. Oh, and I just want to point out, um, I have a very awkward workspace. Like I don't have a garage or anything like that. So it is a little awkward where I'm working out here. I'm, this is basically like a back porch that I have outside. <laughs> um, so, and it's like a very narrow porch. So it's, kind of awkward, but I make it work. Um, it is definitely possible to flip furniture without a garage um, and with kind of a lack of space. Uh, it definitely makes it a little bit more difficult, but it is certainly possible. So now I'm just painting these cabinet doors. I did end up painting the inside and the outside of them. I just thought it looked a little bit better, a little more professional. So that is what I'm doing here. All right, and it was looking pretty good after this first coat. I was just letting it dry here. And I wrapped up my brush and my roller in some aluminum foil and some um, just like a plastic bag to keep everything moist in between coats. So now I'm just going in for my second coat and I flipped the piece over to get the bottoms of the legs. This is maybe not the most convenient way to do this. Um, even the flips that I've done after this one, I've started just elevating my piece so that I don't have to flip it over to get the feet, but this worked out. All right, uh, clearly that's not my arm and clearly we're in a different setting now. So <laughs> I was over at my parents' house um, helping them with moving stuff and my dad was helping me out with spray painting this new hardware that we're going to put on the piece. Um, it's just these little tea pools and I chose this copper color, which I thought would look really good with the olive green paint color. All right, and now we are inside of my house in my office and I am now sealing the piece with some polycrylic. It's really important to mix this stuff up really well. Um, you don't want to shake it or anything like that, but um, it does settle at the bottom and it's pretty hard to stir, especially like a new can like this. So I made sure to stir that up really well and I, I stirred it really slowly so I didn't form any air bubbles. Mixed a little bit of my paint into that and I used this method from Shannon at Black Sheep House here on YouTube. She has been such a great resource for me. 
but basically she uses a foam roller without the handle and just glides the top coat on directly with that. And it is a great method for applying top coat. So now for the before and after. This is what we started with. And this is how it turned out. I'm so happy with how the copper hardware turned out with the green paint. You can probably tell what some of my favorite colors are. This piece got a lot more interest than I thought, and it actually sold within 24 hours, and I was offered above asking price. So I was able to sell it for $200 and make a profit of about $175. I have a few more flips that I have already started filming, so if you want to check those out, be sure to subscribe, leave this video a thumbs up, and let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.